We're back talking about Stephen Harper's historic address at the Knesset, his visit to Ramallah today with a huge delegation. Janice Stein of the Monk School of Global Affairs, Mohammed Al Rashidi of the Canadian Arab Federation are with me. And extraordinary scenes taking place today. Stephen Harper getting standing ovations from the vast number of members in the Knesset. But in mid speech, he was heckled by two Arab Israeli politicians who then walked out. Take a look at an extended clip of exactly what happened. Some openly call Israel an apartheid state. Now think about that statement. Think about the twisted logic and outright malice behind that. A state based on freedom, democracy, and the rule of law. Founded so that Jews can flourish as Jews and seek shelter from the shadow of the worst racist experiment in history, that is condemned, and it is condemned in language, in the mass language of anti-racism. Friends, that is nothing short. Two members walked out, and you saw one of them there. One of them was Ahmad Tibi. The deputy speaker of the Knesset, he's also the leader of the Arab Movement for Change Party, a former advisor to Yasser Arafat as well. Uh, you saw what Mr. Harper said. We wanted to find out what exactly was so objectionable and why he, did he do this extraordinary thing and walk out of a leader in the Knesset. Here's what we found out. Joining me now from East Jerusalem is Ahmad Tibi. He is the deputy speaker of the Knesset and the leader of the Arab Movement for Change Party in the Knesset. Uh, Mr. Tibi, thank you for, for joining us. Can you tell us why you decided to walk out of Prime Minister Stephen Harper's speech? Because his speech was biased, unilateral. Uh, uh, he uh, uh, described Israel uh, in a very uh, uh, unbalanced uh, uh, way. We are living here, sir. We are 20% of the population. Uh, we are uh, suffering uh, uh, discrimination. Uh, the democracy of Israel is a selective democracy, ethnic democracy. Uh, uh, Canada is a democracy, and people are equal without relation to their ethnic background. Here, there is a problem with that. Uh, more than that, we are uh, 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 five minutes from occupation, from settlements, from apartheid war. He did not uh, uh, mention the occupation, the settlements. I asked him about settlements when he talked about the boycott. And uh, uh, I think this is the position, the well-known position of Mr. Harper. Uh, that's why I told him that the Likud seats are there. And there is his uh, uh, seat should be. He, he, he speaks like one of my colleagues from the Likud. Uh, even the right radical side of the Likud. He, it is you the used the word Mr. apartheid, is, Mr. TV. Uh, Mr. Harper, the Prime Minister, in his speech, said that those who call Israel an apartheid state... Uh, are exhibiting a form of anti-Semitism. He, think, he thinks the uh, description is crude, vulgar, and inaccurate. The occupation in, uh, in the West Bank, in Gaza, is an apartheid. Do you know, sir, is Mr. Harper, know that there are double uh, 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 system, uh, separate system of roads, one for settlers, one for Palestinians under occupation. There are two legal system, one for settlers, Jewish settlers, one for Palestinians. One is military system, one is civic system. This is apartheid. And we, uh, when you are controlling, uh, discriminating, confiscating, occupying lands from one side and putting them in the corner without any basic rights, you are, by this way, ruling and committing apartheid in the occupied Palestinian territory. Now, he would point out, I'm reading his speech. He said, most disgracefully of all, some openly call Israel an apartheid state. Think about that. Think about the twisted logic, the outright malice behind that, a state based on freedom, democracy, and the rule of law that was founded so Jews can flourish as Jews to seek shelter from the shadow of the worst racist experiment in history. 
would point out, by the way, that you're the deputy speaker of the Knesset. What, what do you say to that? If you are talk, if he is talking about freedom, why he is totally uh, uh, neglecting the absence of freedom of the Palestinians under occupation? It is double standard. These words are moral double standard from the Prime Minister of Canada. Do you accept at any case to be under occupation and then somebody will tell you that there is absolute democracy? It is not. We are living day by day here. Palestinians under occupation are living day by day and saying that the occupied territory is apartheid has no relation at any case with anti-Semitism. What's the connection? If you are criticizing the policy of the State of Israel, immediately you are categorized as anti-Semitic. This is a twisted logic of Mr. Harper. What do you say when he says in this speech very um, candidly, he says, just as we unequivocally support Israel's right of self-defense, so too has Canada long supported a just and secure future for the Palestinian people. And he, they hope he supports a viable democratic Palestinian state committed to living peacefully alongside the Jewish state of Israel. And he gave Canada committed $66 million to the Palestinians. What about that? Okay. Uh, we are non-Jews in Israel. We are Arabs. We are citizens of the state. We are indigenous people. We are 20% of the population. If Israel will be accepted as a Jewish state, not an Israeli state, somebody is saying that Jews are superior to non-Jews. And this is absolutely unequal dealing with citizens. This is uh, 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 ethnic democracy and saying that if you are Jew, you are first degree citizen. If so as are... an Arab Israeli, as an Arab Israeli, you fundamentally do not support the idea, the philosophy, the premise that Israel should be a Jewish state. That's your fundamental disagreement with the foundational this is, principle. Definitely, sir. This is my position. This is my platform. I am saying that Israel should be defined as state of its own nationalities. There are two nationalities in Israel. One is Jewish majority. One is Arab Palestinian minority. We, we are not transparent. We are not nonsense. Nobody. We are a community. We are a minority and we are a national minority. Saying that Israel is the Jewish state is neglecting our existence, our very existence and our narrative. I would not accept that. How would you describe Canada's policy then towards Israel finally? Biased, non-balanced, and that's why Canada has a very marginal role in the Middle East because of the unilateral, total, absolute support of the Likud policy. Near me set two Jewish members of the Knesset from the opposition. They said that the speech of Mr. Harper is very much suitable to any speech in the Likud Center party. But how, how diplomatic was it for you to walk out of a visiting foreign head of state, a foreign leader in the Knesset as the deputy speaker? Uh, how diplomatic? What signal does it send that you actually walk out on him? It is to say that I am, we are, Mr. Abu Arar and myself, very much unsatisfied with the remarks and the policy of Prime Minister Harper. It is very diplomatic. It's... Uh, 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 a protest which is legitimate in any parliament. Uh, Mr. TV, I, I appreciate your time and your perspective today. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.